8 cows and R50,000 cash labola for new Zulu queen to Koza Mayasela. After officially registering their marriage with the Department of Home Affairs last Thursday, New Zulu King, King Monsieur Zulu Kaswalathini, on Thursday sent a royal delegation to pay Labola for his longtime sweetheart, Takosa Mayasela. The high powered delegation from Kwakangela Mankangane Palace in Nongoma is expected in Newcastle, Northern KZN around 4 pm, and will later drive back to report to the king about how the process went. The new king, 47, and the queen, 36, have two children 3 and 9 together, while the king has two other children with other women. It is not clear for now whether he will marry them as well or not. Independent media gathered that the Mayasala family demanded 8 cows and R50000 in cash. The monarch agreed to pay this on Thursday at 4 p.m. As I am speaking to you right now we are inside the farm selecting the best cows to present them to the Mayasala family at 4 p.m. today. We will not sleep over, instead, we will present our cows and come back. They demanded 8 cows and R50000 in cash, and we happily obliged, a royal source told independent media on Thursday morning. Prince Mangus Yuthu Buthilezi, the king's and Zulu nation's traditional prime minister, have not yet responded to questions from independent media about the Libola delegation. His comment will be added as soon as it is received. While the new queen lives around Pine Town, Durban, her ancestral home is in the coal mining town of Newcastle, and that is where all traditional ceremonies regarding her new royal status will take place. Other royal sources said the new queen would take part in the coming royal meeting on Friday. After the meeting, King Monsieur Zulu, together with the queen, will leave for Eswatini to bid farewell to King Swati III and come back to fulfill their royal duties. The meeting on Friday is expected to iron out the last few remaining royal feuds and prepare the royal court for the king's inauguration which is expected to be carried out in the coming weeks.